so as you know a new update just came to demon slay you know coming chronicles and we got a new and usual with lady tell me about that's not the only update we got we also got a new balance pack in which characters got buffed enough so in this video i'm going to explain every single balance patch done in the new recent demon slayer game update so with the combat change that cc2 patch they shorten the hormone attack movement and vulnerability window and they lengthen the wait time of the landing so i'm guessing except for demons with this they made obviously their hair up attack a little bit unsafe and they shortened it like one attack if i'm correct but if if i'm not correct then you guys correct me in the comments down below so i'm guessing that's pretty much it they made it very unsafe as you can see guys because and draws blocking very late as soon as he gets to the ground so they added a change dash adjustment and they said can no longer be cancelled with quick step when far from the opponent when near or behave as normal i don't really know what that means if i'm being honest with you guys i mean i can still cancel my chase dash with a with a quick step or with a side step even though i'm far away from the opponent or when i'm near my opponent you know what i'm saying so you guys can you explain to me what this patch even means or or someone is demonstrating or comments down below like someone explain what that mean, that patch not even means but yeah so we're in the character changes and it seems that they nerf water wall by obviously nerfing the hitbox and the mobility and the speed of the attack so if akaza hits me water wall is gonna come slow and i'm very i'm very happy that they nerfed the hitbox and the speed for water wall because it was so look at that see now attacks can can counter water wall now literally i like i like that patch so all you have to do is just attack and water was basically finished and i like i like how they patched it Let's see and they obviously reduced the speed as well like water wall ain't as fast as it used to be now look at that plus you can basically attack off the water wall now because they nerfed the hitbox and the mobility basically so yeah they did the same for rokodaki's water wall as well so let's just show you right now obviously it's not fast as it used to be and apparently you can't cancel like the long range you can't cancel as well so orokodaki's water wall ain't that op as it used to be. like you know how water wall can literally his hitbox was retarded and like you could just do a water wall no matter what your opponent does but now they fixed it and now literally when the attack when your opponent has attack priority most of the time your opponent is going to win the attack priority rather than the water wall priority so yeah i like how they patterned the, the water wall and look at how slow it is you see that <laughs> i love how they patched that yeah it's a very good patch this was an actual decent patch that they did on cc2 side yeah so in terms of nezco's nerf they just nerfed the support by obviously shortening the combo window and reducing the damage dealt into the opponent's guard if i do like a scratching thing it reduces the damage on the opponent's guard and if my opponent is not guarding i do a scratching it shows the combo it does a red combo which is i mean it's fair because nezuko support is basically the best support and people just abuse that stuff literally so i feel like this is a fair patch but obviously some nezuko support abusers will be angry with this patch but in my opinion this is a good patch because you know how people be relying on the Nesco support the whole time fam. they never they always run away and then they use Nesco for them to advance so i like how they um obviously show no combo window made a red combo for Nesco. that's a that was a very good one so apparently they buffed rui i don't know why rui even got a buff it doesn't even matter the buff i don't even know why rui decided to have a buff apparently it's just like they increased the damage down to opponent's guard i might be wrong but that's what it says for obviously skill one and skill two they, they increase the damage dealt into the opponent's guard not increase the damage but in, increase the damage um dealt to the opponent's guard i mean they should not buff rui at all rui is literally broken as hell like people don't understand rui is absolutely disgusting like this guy is just broken literally he doesn't need a buff it bro really needs a nerf in other hands like i don't know why they decided to buff Rui, bro <laughs> if you if you ask me like Rui's absolutely broken fam i don't care what you say like i don't know why they decided to buff Rui, but anyways they've done it so it's easy to they do come up with useless uh, buffs and stuff i don't i wanted Rui nerfed not buffed but um, you know what i'm saying it gets like that so yeah they buff Rui. so akaza oh we <laughs> we have so much to talk about akaza so many people wanted buff a huge buff with akaza because akaza for example they needed to obviously 
increase their health multiplier for Akaza because Akaza was taking way too much damage and obviously they just wanted Akaza to be buffed me personally I didn't want Akaza to be buffed because Akaza was already broken as he is in my opinion I feel like he's fine the way he is he's way too broken and obviously they did a lot of balance patches for Akaza that's a nerf but as soon as um, Akaza's balance patch got released a lot of people got upset but I'm just gonna go through all of them and explain to you what they are so first of all they increase the speed for the chase dash which is basically a buff which is a fair buff in my opinion a fair buff they, they increase the speed they increase the speed of the chase dash cool fair buff next skill one which is this they obviously increase the damage down to opponent's guard so it turns yellow very quickly and to red very quickly so this is also a fair buff as well <laughs> yeah fair but this is a fair buff and obviously they also buffed skill two increase the damage dealt into opponent's guard and shorten skill cooldown meaning obviously akaza is a little bit more safer after they do either of these moves it's a little bit more safer now skill three which is this they increase the damage and lengthen the combo window so it's not a red combo now the hakai starts now now it's a yellow combo because before it was a red combo now it's a yellow combo which is a fair buff as well now let's talk about his demon skills obviously demon skill 2 destructed this just move they increase the damage but they show in the combo window meaning it's now a red combo so even though they increase the damage for this move it's now a red combo me personally i am happy with this buff because the people literally were running away literally setting up literally sliving in the room setting up for this move because this move is actually op it has super armor pluses plus on block so this is a fair patch in my opinion but in Akiza means i they're very upset with this patch you know what i'm saying especially with tlds they obviously Akiza has the hardest tld to do and the fact that they love they nerf this people um Akiza means are quite upset but me personally i love this patch because bro i am tired of Akiza means just literally running away slivering waiting to do this this annoying move because they know that it's safe on block and it has so much super armor and it has a high hitbox so in my opinion this is a this is a very very good nerf <laughs> me i don't care what alkaza men say sorry dex if you're watching this video i'm sorry so that's pretty much all the the alkaza buffs and nerfs but if i miss anything let me know in the comments down below now let's talk about your harbor's buff they gave a little buff to your harbor i don't know why your harbor got buff i mean people say your harbor is trash but your harbor is actually good like if you know how to use your harbor he is a demon this guy is probably the best zoner in the whole game compared to ruri and your harbor they probably ryan rival in terms of zoning like but anyways i digress so he got a low buff which is his demon skill to obviously they increase the damage dealt into opponents god so it, that means that obviously the demon skill to it gets yellow very quickly so you can deal damage into opponents guard very quickly it turns yellow read very very quickly which is a little decent buff i mean i don't know why they decided to buff yahaba like that but yeah it's a little buff that cc2 made and we can't complain in it so it seems that they kind of gave susumaru a little some buffs no nerfs just buff and obviously his skill one they increase his damage dealt to the opponent's guard so it gets you very quickly they did the same for demon skill one as well they increase the damage down to the opponent's guard. Their skill two increase damage is increase down damage down to opponent's guard. So basically the same type of buff with the with the demon skill one and skill one. Skill three they increase the damage down to opponent's guard when you do the full damage skill three. Yeah, when the button is held down. So when you hold the when you hold the skill three down to charge it it increases the damage done to opponent's guard so meaning you can guard break your opponent you have the potential to guard break your opponent very quickly with susumaru skills and demon skills so yeah that's a very nice patch from cc2 i like it these and patches so that pretty much wraps up all the patches and speaking of update if you guys want to see some advanced combos i came up with emu just click on this video right here like and subscribe just like let's try to get 20 likes on this video and yeah, you man take out, see you guys very soon.